Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and today we're going to be doing a review of Atomic Habits by James Clear. So this one doesn't really have a synopsis, but I'm just going to read what it has here in the um, dust jacket and we'll go from there. So it says, no matter your goals, Atomic Habit offers a proven framework for getting 1% better every day. James Clear, one of the world's leading experts on habit formation, reveals practical strategies that will teach you exactly how to master the tiny behaviors that lead to remarkable results. If you're having trouble changing your habits, the problem isn't you. The problem is your system. Bad habits repeat themselves not because you don't want to change, but because you have the wrong system for change. You do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. In Atomic Habits, you'll get a plan that can take you to new heights. Clear is known for his ability to distill complex topics into simple behaviors that can be readily applied to daily life and work. Here he draws on ideas from biology, psychology, and neuroscience to create an easy to understand guide for making good habits inevitable and bad habits impossible. Along the way, readers will be inspired and entertained with true stories from Olympic gold medalists, award-winning artists, business leaders, life-saving physicians, and star comedians who have used the science of small habits to vault to the top of their fields. Atomic Habits will reshape, reshape the way you think about progress and give you the tools and techniques you need to transform your habits, whether you are an athlete looking to win a championship, a leader hoping to optimize an organization, or an individual who wishes to quit smoking, lose weight, reduce stress, or achieve success that lasts. Okay, so let's talk about Atomic Habits by James Clear. It even says on the cover, it's an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. So this one was interesting. I heard a lot of uh, good things about it. So that's why I wanted to pick it up and read it for myself. This one actually does what it says it's going to do. It gives you strategies and tells you how to basically focus on one bad habit at a time and just itty bitty steps like one small change a day can really change out that bad habit for a good habit. Um, he talks about replacing certain things like if you want to create the habit of getting up on time he says don't set your alarm and set it next to you set it away from you so that you have to get up to turn that alarm off and then once you're up he says immediately don't look at your phone or anything but actually start your day whether you make your bed go to the bathroom get dressed take a shower make coffee any of those things help you not to go to bed or back to bed and you're not going to keep hitting that snooze button and i for one have that exact same problem i actually have two alarms set in the morning one at 6 45 and one at 7. but every time it goes off i hit the snooze button and it goes off three separate times five minute increments and I still don't want to get up in the morning so I'm actually going to try the setting the alarm across the room and seeing if that helps um, he also talks about different um, in the table of contents he also talks about like the best way to start a new habit um, there's a chapter called Motivation is Overrated, Environment Often Matters More. And in that chapter, he's talking about not necessarily you losing the motivation, but he's saying that if you are going to stay motivated and change these habits, you have to acclimate and change your environment so that it is conducive to helping you change those habits. Because if you don't change your environment, then you're just going to fall into the same routine every day. But if you want to make those changes, you have to change small things in your environment in order to make those habits stick. So that was really helpful. 
There was also one that uh, talks about like the role of family and friends in shaping your habits. So I think that one talked about getting like family and friends. You're saying, hey, I want to make this change, you know, help, hold me accountable and help me along the way by doing X, Y, and Z. Um, and that's, there, he sets it up into different laws. So the first law is making it obvious. The second law is making it attractive. The third law, you make it easy. The fourth law, make it satisfying. And then you can go for like the advanced tac tactics of how to go from being merely good to being truly great. There's a different um, chapters like in the third law, there's one chapter that says how to stop procrastinating by using the two minute rule. So throughout this, he just gives you not only like, okay, so here's one, an example, actually, it says, um, your problem phase, it, your cue is that if your phone buzzes with a new text message, craving, you want to learn the contents of the message. Your response is you grab your phone and read the text and your reward is you satisfy your craving to read the message. Grabbing your phone becomes associated with your phone buzzing. So I think he's just saying like if you want to be able to change out doing those things, you have to be able to recognize the cue and the craving and then change it up so that you have a different response and a different reward. Those are different things that you can pull out. I'm trying to see if there's also, I think it was further back. But throughout the book, he gives like little diagrams of helpful information. Um, there's several throughout, but he also gives you at the end, there's a chapter summary before you go on to the next chapter. So in reading this, I really found some good examples. Like he said, he uses examples from the um, like business partners, gold medalists, oh, excuse me, business leaders, Olympic gold medalists, award-winning artists, and star comedians. So there's different real life experiences on how other people have implemented what he's talking about in here. And I really think that this is going to help me change some of my habits this year. So I look forward to trying and seeing how these work for me because I do have a couple of bad habits that I want to break and replace with good habits. So with Atomic Habits, I don't really like rate nonfiction books, but based on the content and the strategies that he gives you, I would say that information is well worth a five star. So I'm hoping to break some bad habits and create some good ones this year. And I hope you guys will pick up a copy and check it out as well. Well, that being said, that's all for my video today. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to check out any future content. And if you've made it this far through the video, please leave me a book emoji. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.